Okay, let's talk about uh, camera setting. Yeah, if you click ambience and then camera setting, we have several tabs that I want to explain it one by one. Exposure and white balance. It is auto expose means if you go far from uh, the close area, it will be dark and the other area are light. If you going inside this area, it's automatically the area will be exposed and light. But if we changing the lightness in far area, if you turn off auto expose, you can see if you ex exposure make it a lower number and it's dark, you can see if you are going inside the darkness of the inside is the same of the outside. It means the difference between <clears throat> interior and exterior. If you uh, uh, turn on the auto expose, now you can see automatically, you can see it's dark. If you go inside, automatically lighten the area. Nice. <clears throat> And the white balance, you can make your scene more warmer with Kelvin or cooler. Well, not very much. We want warm area. Local exposure, if it's enabled, the highlight reduction, it means it's a, a reduction. These highlights to, it's actually, it's about anti-aliasing. It's a highlight reduction to better see the details at the highlight area. It's nice. <clears throat> it's um, increased the number of anti -alias. Shadow boosts, it boosts the shadow when you use uh, HDR image. It's better to seeing, um, it's boosting shadow to this area. You can see better it's adding the shadow to detailed area at the far and you can see better the details because the shadow you can see this area okay shadow boost you can change it to see what happened it's all about uh, details you can see better when we use um, HDR image and you can if you want to better see the shadows <clears throat> for example if we use interior image and we can use the highlight reduction the far from see now you can see better details here and the shadow boost you can see or you can enable or disable it. okay let's go into the environment and <clears throat> turn off the hdri environment okay so Where was that? So the shadow boost is boosting the shadow for uh, seeing more details in the dark area. Okay. And the lens uh, field of view. Look at this image. This is a FOB field of view. You can open the angle of the camera to see more scene. It's very easy. And the 19 is 19 is uh, default if you want to see for example if you are inside and you want to see more area you can expand your field of view but may uh, but um, look at this it's, it's a stretch <coughs> it's a stretch uh, camera camera at this part and you you can see these effects be careful about it's a stretch the uh, view in the corners you stay in your position and 
you have more scene to view and if you reduce the number of field of view you can you can focus on a special area <clears throat> so be careful about the number that you have assigned here this is a default number vignetting it's cr created dark at the edges it's effect sharpness is actually control the anti-aliasing uh, to make sure that you have a sharp air sharp area okay. sharpness you have more anti-aliasing the details you can control it. the zero we have more smooth and bellary see chromatic aberration it's shifting the color yeah, you can see it's shifting the color and you can create such these effects if you want <clears throat> aligning the camera is very interesting it's align the camera for example i want to align our camera to this wall no you can see it's aligning it means <clears throat> yeah, that wall is exactly a, a, in our view or you want to align the camera uh, with this wall it's rotating the camera in any direction that you want uh, parallel to the wall or object that you click you can select the this tool to parallelism is if you for example it's parallel the this one look at for example in this situation it's parallel all of this area you can see hmm. it's better to change our field of view to better seeing this color is better or it's better we are going down yeah now you can see better it's straighten the lines polarizing okay yeah it's straighten the lines changing perspective actually near clip for example, in, if you uh, reduce the number of the near clip, if you're going so close to object, there will be deleting based on the uh, camera. For example, 100 centimeter means from our camera. If you reach to 100 centimeter of an object, it will, okay, okay, you can see, there will be deleting. This is clipping. We make sure that we are not going through an, an object and we can change it or type any number that you want <clears throat> okay another interesting thing is depth of field look at this image oh sorry going a little Okay, look at this image. Depth of field. <clears throat> For example, this is our camera. This is near object and these are far object. And this is in focus. It means if the object is in a focus, we can see it clearly and the other objects that are near or far the camera, they are blur. So you can see it here. If you enable depth of field, you can see other objects are <clears throat> blur you can change the distance or it's better to pick a focus it means if you select this chair it means this part is in a focus and the other object at the far of the camera are blur that you can control the blurriness with aperture more number less blurry and uh, lower number we have a lot so <clears throat> blur or we want this part at the focus click and you can see the near object in a camera or blur and also the far 
object from this part are blur just because this is an this object in the focus in the middle the bokeh shape if you render something in a night something like this these are bokeh shape you can control the amount of these bokeh shapes bokeh effects but in this case you cannot see it very well <clears throat> okay this and depth is our field it's very easy and the bloom and the flares it's all about the sun if we see the sun these are lens flare and you can change the <clears throat> rays of the sun with this number and you can change intensity of these effects i like this and you can change the lens flare intensity for better seeing lens flare lens dirt you can see add some dirt on your lens dirt effect composition overlay it's for managing your scene for example uh, add a grid and you want to add some rows and columns to that to manage your scene put your object with special rule and you can change the color of this grid if you want <clears throat> And the um, interesting thing is the safe areas that if you want to export, you can enable safe areas. This area is a safe area of render. This area is safe area title. Because <clears throat> if you, you make sure that your important part of your scene does not appear in these areas because maybe in changing the playing system in any system, maybe your important scene will be cut. And because of that, you have safe or you can add a custom safe area here. This make sure that your more important scene is exactly at the scene. Okay, this is a camera sitting.